Welcome to the view. Welcome to the view. Where we are in front of the depressing carousel. I love it. I actually, yeah, I you love know, it. I, actually, I absolutely love carousels. Oh, it, it always makes me want to like dress up and wear something really gay and ride a little horse. You always wear something really gay. Well, even and, gayer. And than you're gay. always riding a horse. Yeah. Gayer than gay. <laughs> <laughs> On a plastic horse, not any other kind of horse. Oh. <laughs> plastic horse, not horse meat. So, so our, screen is, our screen is empty. Yeah, we're in the park, so battery life is running low. I wish we could turn the camera around and show all these interesting people here. Oh, they're all delusional. Well, not all of them. Well, the, the Jesus freaks just walked by. Yeah, they're, they're delusional. They're delusional. And you also know you're delusional, and the Facebook freaks are delusional. The Facebook freaks are yes. delusional. Especially the ones that post on Facebook that they don't give a fuck. Oh, I mean... I mean, really, you don't give a fuck and you're posting on Facebook to announce it to the world. Right. I think you do give a fuck. Don't you? Yeah, I do. It's like the, it's like the people who are, you know... It's, although, you know, it's like the people who are, who are 58 and they say they don't care about getting old. Cher, I think, is the most honest old person there is because every time anybody asks her she doesn't say the politically correct thing with the which is oh it's wonderful getting old I love. she says it's awful you know that's the you know I'm, I'm depressed every day I don't want to wake up you know <laughs> I hate it yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yes uh, having just had a birthday I can attest that it's not you're great. 53 now I know 53 I'm right behind Madonna <laughs> 53 yeah. it's three it just rolls off Michael's lips <laughs> 53. So happily. Notice how, how he smiles every time he says it. It does roll right after 53. And don't I look good? 53. Our favorite, we were talking about our favorite British songs and influences. Influences, yes. Uh, and it's a long list. It's too long it, you to actually know, it recount is, in you, one episode. You know, I think that we're influenced by them the way they're influenced by us. You know? Wait. But when we say us, we don't mean us. I think yes, they're, they're influenced by us. By New York. By, I mean. yes. by the United States. Yes. No, well, by New York. London, I think, is influenced by New York, and New York is influenced by London. I think that London is more influenced by places like Motown or Detroit or Chicago. Or, right now, probably, know, yeah. Than New York. I mean, New York isn't that. There was a time. There was a time. Well, even in mm -hmm. the even in the eighties and nineties, they were listed. They were like living for Chicago oh, house I didn't, and Detroit well, techno. No, that was really that was really late eighties, late eighties, nineties, in mid mid eighties. It. it was really all about New York City because it was Palladium and area, and all, you know they were yeah, all. But even over. at Palladium and area, they were playing Chicago house. They were not playing New York City house. Well, music. Well, some wise, of them, music wise, maybe. Well, you know, we have a list of music. Yeah. <laughs> So, some of my favorite uh, British bands are the Chemical Brothers and Visage and David Bowie, who was not a band, but I've always loved him. I've loved Blur and Alien Sex Fiend and Duran Duran. Yeah, I like, I like um, Blur. <laughs> I like Blur and I like Visage and I like the Chemical Brothers. I like, um, Yaz, Depe you know, the whole Yaz, Depeche Mode, and, and LaRue, who's sort of... Uh, Michael's a, a big synth pop. Freak. Yeah, and LaRue's sort of a, um, a uh, updated version, I think, of, um, of Depeche Mode and... and um, Oh, oh Sinead O'Connor, yeah. <laughs> As William is pointing she's to his the, shirt. She's from the UK. Well, she's, I, I guess that's sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, sort of, yeah. King, United Kingdom, yes, I guess it is. Shout out to Sinead. Shout out to Sinead. <laughs> and now William is smiling. He's Do you have anything happy. I can rip? <laughs> can play music Fight the real enemy or whatever it is. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. You know, I was sort of shocked when they when they asked me the first time because normally I'm the one who's orchestrating, you know, this big show and inviting people to be part of or whatever. And um, it, I, this is kind of the first time that I was on the opposite end of that. I was honestly, I was, I was busy focusing on my, on my artwork and uh, cute guys' butts. Welcome back to the pew. 
Welcome back to the view. Welcome back to the view. <laughs> the Bryant Park edition. We Wait. thought we'd go to Tompkins Square Park, but we felt that yeah, this is much more upscale. Yeah, the genteel environs of Bryant rich. Park suits us rich. better. Yeah, rich. I love all these old ladies. Unlike look us, look at the old lady over there in the black dress. She's yes. just fabulous. There's lots of lots of fabulous, fabulous old, lady. old people walking yeah. around here. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of old, you're 53. <laughs> yes. And I'm fabulous. So yes, I, fabulous old people. I fit right in. <laughs> you sure do. See that old lady up there, <laughs> just like her. <laughs> Well, I recall that you're the one that already has arthritis. Not I don't I. have arthritis. Oh, no, don't oh don't now <laughs> should see him in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, my achy back. So, Michael, All right, explain the oh. Michael may have an another art show. He I just do, yes. ended two, and now another one is on the horizon. Well, actually, there's a ton more on the horizon, but they're all out of New York City, so I can't, I can't, I don't know what's going to happen. I thought there was going to be one in New York there City. There is going to be one in New York City, but the rest of them are out of New York. The one in New York City is at a place called AB Gallery on Church Street, and it's um, going to be on September 11th. It's open. So September 11th. I got to get a painting. Seared they, they into want, the public they want all. They want all new pieces, so I've got to get, get painting. Oh. All new pieces? Mm, no, you yes. Gotta be cracking. You gotta be cracking. Better crack something other than your back. Yeah. So tell them about the contest. Well, it's not really a contest, it's just a challenge. A challenge. A we challenge would contest. like, we're inviting our viewers to send us a pew spew. What is a pew spew? A pew spew is anything that they're, they're, they're unhappy about or it's a, I'm mad as hell and I can't take it anymore kind of uh, kind of rant. It's a rant. Yeah, it's a rant. We want you to rant for 10 seconds. We want the we want the rant not to be annoying, but to be funny and entertaining. So if you uh, have a funny or entertaining rant that you want to send us, record it, preferably in high def. And preferably not about us. <laughs> right, right, although it could be about us. It could be about us. And uh, send it to uh, the Pew Channel at the uh, Project X archive at yahoo.com. And we'll check it out. And what do bitches want to know? Bitches want to know, oh, it's Jaded Soropia. Wants to know if the ending in Shampoo Horns where Junkie Jonathan's body was put into a box oh. was inspired by true events. It was not because it was filmed before all of that. So, um, but it was so did it was something that was brought up when the film was released into theaters. Um, people were uh, saying that it was in poor taste that they made this movie like that, but um, it was it was filmed you know a year before. So were you inspired by Shampoo Horns? I don't even remember filming Shampoo Horns. No. So I can't, I can't be inspired by something That's true. Remember. If you watch Shampoo Horns, you could, it, Michael's pretty out of it. I mean, you're you were Well, so you, I, I played a junkie, though. I, well, well, you did not play. You were not acting. <laughs> well, or was I? No, you weren't. Or was I? You were not. Or because See, I was acting so good that you, don't, you think that I wasn't. Uh, you were not acting, and the reason I know you were not acting is because... I supplied you with the drugs! <laughs> uh, no, I did not. Uh, the reason you were not acting is because you would often come to the Project X office in the daytime... Oh, so acting, you say. Acting just like... So you say. Just like the way you were I was method Warren. acting. I was method acting. Crystal method acting. I was method acting. With a little cocaine mm -hmm. and rohypnol thrown in. So you say. I'd like to see some footage of that. Uh... I'd like to see some footage. We did not have any uh, oh, cameras a likely inside the story. Project a X likely office. Story. We were a print publication, a likely not story. a broadcast A likely story. That was the, not, the 90s. There was no internet. Nobody was streaming. No, but, that, but there were cameras all over. Everybody had cameras back then. No, they did not. Nelson had a camera. We had still cameras. Well, had, if you're trying to tell me that Nelson Sullivan didn't have a camera, no, I'm not buying it. He was the only one and that, that had folks. the video camera. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. <laughs>